Morning! Welcome back to Parks and Pints for today. We're not at a park and we're not having a pint. Name's going dead well. Um, we're at the Trafford Centre today. We've got a little fun fair on. The Spring Escape, I believe it's called. Classic Parks and Pints uh, stuff. <laughs> what are words? But um, it's actually the last day of it. So if it looks good and you're like, oh, I want to go there. Well, it's tough because it ended today. But <laughs> we went to the winter one in december and i'm pretty sure they do a summer one as well so you'll be able to come back but not to the spring one until next year but we'll give you a general gist of what it's like i'm sure it'll be sound summer day isn't it um so yeah we'll take you along for the ride the ride It does look nice today, doesn't it? We're on the pirate ship. Hey, get in. Are you scared? Uh, no, I'm not scared. There's not a heap here for adults anyway. Yeah. But I've, I've heard good things about this pirate ship. Oh. But we've not actually seen it go around yet, so we're just going in blind. It's got seatbelts, I've never seen a pirate ship. Yeah, I've never had to strap myself in before. What did you think? Let's go that. <laughs> I think it's like the one at Drayton, like it's about the same height in it but not as nice views. Yeah. But still good for yeah. a travelling one, really good. Good fun. The kid opposite was not having a good time at all. Good start to our tiny little fun fair trip. What's next? That bouncy thing looks good with the frog. Probably has a proper name. So we're two rides in on our little trip here, so that's nearly all of our tokens gone. <laughs> we paid for like a little wristband, which was slightly cheaper to do in advance. I think it was about three pounds each online, um, and that's just to get in, which is a bit slight because then you have to pay for everything that's here anyway. Um, and everything's tokens, we pre-ordered tokens, we got 25 tokens for 22 quid, but everything we've been on so far has been free. So the pirate ship was free, the Don Sapo, whatever it's called, the bouncy frog thing was free. Both good cycle runs. Yeah, now we're class maths. Halfway through our tokens. <laughs> <laughs> she sat here with the phone on her head like that. Because I said, can you get a better angle than that? Because she was like this, right underneath the like, horrible angle. I mean, it's like, you know them memes on Twitter, like the pictures yeah. I take my boyfriend versus the photos that my boyfriend takes me. Anyway. Ride, the bouncer one, like the one that went on the south pole last week. This one was ridiculous. You were on it for four hours. <laughs> we made us sit far apart, so I was on the inside seat, dangling for, for my life. It's painful. Also, not for those with a weak bladder. I won't say any more on that. <laughs> and um, yeah, Abby said, looked at me halfway through and said, "It's a good job we're not <laughs> because you'd have been ill, very, very ill." But again, like Abby said, really good cycle. You're on it for ages. You do get your money's worth on that one. Cut. We just worked out the price of the token and the tokens are about £1 per token and everything's at least three tokens to go on but some things are four. The log flume's four so for us two to go on the log flume together it's £8. Yeah, they did this very similar setup at Christmas in Corning Tinsel Town and we had a similar problem where we bought our tokens and then got here and then realised we can't actually do everything and now we're sat here debating what it is we're going to spend our remaining tokens on. There's not even that many rides here. We did this thing, the exact same thing last time, yet here we are again. And in summer, we'll have the same conversation again. And probably in winter again, because that's what we're like. Did you love that? Yeah. You look like, like you were well loving it. 
yeah, it's all you made. Bit mortified when it went round a third time. <laughs> and I'm really glad that no one I know saw me on it. Apart from everyone on the Apart internet. From everyone on the internet. <laughs> this doesn't look good, does it? I was gonna ride this next, but I think I might pass. <laughs> down south you'll come all the way to traffic centre for this <laughs> but if you're like 20 minutes away like I am it's definitely worth just coming for a little couple of hours out or if you're shopping here even better I would give it uh, 8 out of 10 oh generous right, yeah good. yeah that's good that yeah I agree I've had a good time considering we had like really limited availability like had other stuff going on at the weekend and it's weird not going to a theme park so we had to do something I mean it's expensive yeah. When, we, when I get home and I'm like, oh, I've been out for like two, two and a half hours and I've spent how much money, I'm like, but maybe I'm just super used to having packages now for Blackpool and stuff and not feeling it as much. Good rides and they're all like, it sounds like a weird observation, but they're all clean and like fresh. These aren't like yeah, the are. old rides, except maybe the fun house is a bit creaky and old. But like the pirate ship was really good. How many out of ten? Seven. Fair. Yeah, I would do away with the wristband charge. Well, that's just to like make money off all the parents that aren't going on any rides. Hey, here he is, the big fella. <laughs> Nothing more to say about that. <laughs> well, We're leaving now. That's the end. All in all, good few hours out. Good trip out. Yeah, lovely weather for it. Nice chill one, and we've got Alton Towers next week. Yes, festival of thrills. Here we come. Bye.